Hello, my name is Kelsey and welcome to Becoming Home. As I mentioned in my last video, my master bedroom needs some home decor love. When we moved in, I focused my attention on the living areas of the home, which left my bedroom walls sparse and bare. Now it's time to remedy the situation and make the master a pleasant and relaxing place to be. Last week, I painted an abstract piece for above the bed. This week, I'm making a DIY version of a sea urchin wall decor set. I love how these turned out and how they look hanging in my bedroom. First, grab your supplies. You'll need skewers, mine are a thicker variety, some half sphere foam balls, and two cans of spray paint. One black and one a metallic color of your choice, whether that be gold, silver, copper, or brass. Prepare the area where you're going to spray paint. I have these plastic drop cloths from my last project, so I'm using one of those. But when I've spray painted in the past, I'll put the items in a large box. This is especially helpful if you don't have a lot of space and need to protect your surroundings from the spread of the paint. Lay out your skewers and spray your first coat of metallic paint. I'm right at the end of this can of copper color, so the application is a little uneven, but I don't mind because the variation in color and the excess drops of paint bring something unique to the project. If you have the time, wait for the paint to dry completely, but if not, well, I only waited 10 minutes. Only touching the ends of the skewers, I turned them so that the wood showed and then sprayed my next coat. Don't forget the blunt ends as well. While waiting for the skewers to dry, I started on the foam halves, which I picked up from the floral section of the craft store. These were just under six inches in diameter and were about three inches thick at the widest point. You're going to paint them whatever color you want the center of the urchin to be. I've seen it done in white and black, but most usually black. It's time for the final coat of paint, and we're rotating the skewers until I find the side that's the least painted. For some of them, it's quite obvious, but others are well coated already. I gave the top of my foam halves two coats before letting them dry completely. Yes, I was patient this time. Then I turned them over and gave the flat side one coat of paint. Let everything dry completely before moving on to the next section of the project. Set up your hot glue gun, then trace your firm halves onto cardstock. It doesn't matter what color. Cut out the circles, purposely cutting about a quarter of an inch inside the line you drew, as you don't want the paper showing on the edges. Next, attach the cardstock to the halves using the glue gun, pressing firmly to get a strong bond. The cardstock will give you a non-porous surface that will adhere better to the wall, rather than the very porous firm. Repeat this process with all three halves. Divide your skewers into three piles so that you have an even amount for each urchin. Place your first skewer in the center of the sphere. Then start placing your next skewers into the foam at even distances, radiating outward from the center. You don't have to be as methodical as I was, but I would definitely start with a skewer in the center and work outward from there. It helps keep the urchin balanced and centered. Repeat the process with all your urchins before moving them back to your painting area. Spray the bottoms of the skewers only with the same color paint as you sprayed the center. This will give your urchins that natural look with the center gradually changing to the metallic color at the ends. Now the project is complete. Let your urchins dry completely before installing them on your walls using command strips or something similar. Then step back and enjoy the decorative impact these sea urchins bring to your walls. I love the process of creating these sea urchins and I love the decorative impact they bring to my home. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you're creative like me, check out some of my other crafting videos by clicking here or watch my last video by clicking here. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. As always, thanks to everybody out there watching my channel and cheers for now.